if you have arachnophobia, you might want to look away because what you're about to see will terrify you. I'd like you to meet the world's most enormous spider. It's got massive fangs and eight glossy black eyes. It's creepy, it's crawly, and it can launch its barbed hairs at you. Meet the Goliath bird-eating spider. Jeez, this thing looks like it came straight out of Shelob's lair. So how big does this spider grow? Does it really eat birds? And most importantly, can it kill a human? Goliath bird-eating spiders live in the temperate rainforests of northern South America, in countries like Venezuela, Brazil, and Guyana. They spend most of their time in underground burrows or beneath rocks and roots. They're considered a delicacy in some places. Usually grilled, roasted, or deep-fried, they've been described as tasting like shrimp. I'll take their word for it. Like other tarantulas, the Goliath is an arachnid. But it's not just any arachnid. This legendary creature is the heaviest and overall, it's the largest of its kind. However, it is second in leg length behind Australia's equally frightening huntsman spider. But don't worry, we'll save that one for another episode. The Goliath typically weighs in at a hulking 170 grams and can grow up to 30 centimeters long. It's about as big as, if not bigger than, a dinner plate. Well, that's something to think about next time you're eating a plate of fries. It's no surprise that a spider of that magnitude would have a monstrous appetite. But despite having bird eating in its name, birds are not the spider's main source of food. They got this name because of an 18th century engraving that depicted a tarantula eating a hummingbird. While they can and do eat small birds from time to time, these spiders are ambush predators that patiently wait for prey to cross their path. This makes birds difficult prey for the ground-dwelling tarantula since birds can fly away. As nocturnal creatures, the cover of night aids in the Goliath's ability to find a meal. They feast on a variety of critters ranging from beetles to bats, snakes, and lizards. When they do catch a meal, whatever it is, the tarantulas inject their prey with a tissue-dissolving venom through their large, not-scary-at-all fangs. When the prey's viscera is liquefied, the tarantula sucks it out like a milkshake through a straw. How's that for imagery? Surprisingly, despite having eight eyes, Goliath bird-eating spiders have poor vision and rely heavily on their highly attuned leg hairs, which are sensitive to vibrations to warn them of danger. These hairs are tipped with stinging barbs and are called urticating hairs. When these tarantulas feel threatened, they blast these hairs from their abdomens like pepper spray, irritating their predator's skin, eyes, or nose. In addition to being a defense mechanism, goliaths also use their urticating hairs to communicate with each other. By rubbing them together, they produce an eerie hissing noise. Great, another reason to fear these arachnids. If you're wondering whether this eight-legged freak can kill you, the answer is likely. Though they are venomous, they only attack humans when provoked, and they usually deliver a dry bite, similar to a wasp sting. So unless you're allergic to goliath bird eating spider venom, you won't die from its bite. You may be traumatized, though. I know I would be if I got bitten by a spider the size of a dinner plate. And if you're the type of person who has a special affinity for these fuzzy cartoon-like spiders, it's not ideal to keep one as a pet. These spiders have specific space and habitat requirements. If you thought this was the only bird-eating bug, well, I'm sorry to say it's not. On Australia's Phillip Island, there are massive centipedes that will also snack on birds. Check out our episode on giant bird-eating centipedes to see them in action. Being the world's biggest spiders and hissing with their hairs is what Goliath bird-eating spiders do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.